Hey friends, I am Cassie Nowak, one of the owners of Minds in Bloom, and today I'm gonna walk you through how you can customize this digital planner in just a couple of minutes and be ready to use it to make your year go by so much more smoothly. If you don't know me um, or Minds in Bloom, we are a company that supports third, fourth, and fifth grade teachers through our TPT store and through our blog, mindsinbloom.com. We have been around on TPT for a long time. We have over a thousand resources and have sold them over two million times. Um, we also have a membership where all of our resources are available for immediate download for one low monthly price. Now with all those resources floating around, we hear a lot about how do I keep all these things organized? So we created a digital plan book that was made specifically for keeping all of your digital resources organized. So I'm gonna show you that really quickly. So here it is, you have your cover page. If you don't like this design, you can just delete it. You can make your own design. You can change the color. Um, you can do whatever you need to make it your own. But this planner has three main views. It has the monthly view, a weekly view, and a daily view. So let's go ahead and click on a month to check out the monthly view. So here you have boxes where you can type in little things. You can click the number to go to the daily view, um, or you can click to go to the weekly view. So let's go ahead and click on a weekly view to see what it looks like. So this is the weekly view where you are going to plan all of your lessons. You have six different sections that you can break the planner into, two bigger ones and four smaller ones. So from this view, you can also click to go to the days. So if you're working on Monday, you can click Monday, and then you can go to the daily view where you have a place to type some notes, you can mark down any appointments or meetings that you have, and this is where the magic happens. It's where you organize and save all the resources that are gonna be a part of that day's lessons. You can also use these buttons to navigate to the previous day or the next day. So um, let's go ahead and look at a daily view or a weekly view. So I'm gonna click on the week and you're first going to have to decide what you want those six sections to be. So you could have math, science, reading, writing, whatever, or if you only teach one subject, you might have um, math whole group, math small group, math game. So you have to decide first how you wanna break apart your six different sections. Once you figure that out, all you're gonna do is go to edit and find and replace, and you're gonna find the section name, so section underscore 01, and you're gonna replace that with whatever you want that section to be named and then replace all so that it fixes it throughout all of the pages. So then you would do the same thing with math section, I mean with section two, maybe you want that section to be reading. So we'll replace all those. And then in just a couple seconds, you'll have all of your sections changed. You also have these six extra tabs. These are for things that you wanna have quick access to, um, maybe a roster, a schedule, um, you know, a scope and sequence, something like that. So you would change these names the same way. So you would just go to edit, find and replace, and then we'll type in extra underscore one, and we'll replace that. Maybe this will be our roster. So I'll replace all. And now instead of it saying extra, they will all say roster. If you go to it, you'll have your roster. And on this page, you can just add text boxes, pictures. You can do a screenshot of your roster. This is just a place for you to save things that you need to revisit often. All right, so let's actually look at how we would plan a day. So I'm gonna go back to October. I'll go to my week where the planning happens and you would just type in a box and type whatever you want it to be. So maybe you're gonna be teaching equivalent fractions on this day. So once you have kind of the skeleton of your lesson lined out, then you're gonna put your resources you need for that lesson here. So I'm gonna click on that, go to the daily page, and I can just type in my resource, whatever you need to remember what it is, and then here you're gonna put a link to that resource. It can be a link to TPT, it can be to your Google Drive, even your OneDrive. So I use OneDrive, 
So you can right click on that and then just find where it says copy link. So get your link ready and then you would just click in and paste it. Now, whenever you're ready to use this, you would just access it through here instead of digging through all of your folders. Now you might notice that some of these already have some suggestions and these suggestions come from our Minds and Bloom Unlimited membership. So I tried to put some that were fun for that time of year. If you are not a member of Minds and Bloom Unlimited, you can sign up for a, a trial account and you can pick any three downloads that you want and there are a lot of great ones to choose from. If you're not a member, I would urge you to become one so that you have thousands of different resources that you can use to make every day of learning so much fun. We have math stuff, we have reading stuff, writing stuff, we even have social and emotional learning and fun stuff available. And if you sign up today, then you can use the coupon code, which is plan like a boss to save 33% forever as long as you keep your membership active. And what's even better than that is if you sign up for an annual plan, and if you do that, you'll have all the resources available at your fingertips for a whole year, and you can save $50 by doing that. The regular price is $149.99, and with a coupon plan your year, it will be $99.99 for the whole year. So just let me know if you have any questions, but I think you have enough to get started and get going and get your plans out in a way that you can easily find them and use them as much as you need. So good luck and I hope you have a great year. Bye.